Welcome in YouTube to another episode of Football Manager 2022. I hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome in, welcome back. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button here on YouTube. It really does help us out and is free. Uh, we are live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Vitacal. If you want to come drop a follow, check us out live Monday through Friday. We do dual streams now for the most part. Um, so yeah, we're going to be facing off against Maidenhead. Um, most of our stars are in there for tonight. Hayden is resting. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I was just telling Twitch, I got to find like a core and I feel like I have a pretty decent core of guys that I'm going to be counting on towards down the, down the stretch. I know we're about like mid, the midway part of the season, early to mid, like early mid. <laughs> I've uh, been going to run good run lately. Uh, we really haven't been. We should have won that game against Barnett. And that's been sticking in my craw since it happened. So here we are. We're playing it at home. Especially since that was a, a home game, I believe. Maybe I was wrong. I got to check the schedule again. But and it looks like it's raining here. There's a header from Shannon over to Palmer. Palmer goes ahead and gets it back over to Brizzly. Brizzly gets it to Shannon. And they're just going to work the ball around. Working on that possession time, and we are not maintaining possession. For sure. Um, Bart, bringing up the sidelines for Maidenhead. Gets it to Kelly, who's in the box. Over to Barnett. Goes ahead and gets over to McCauley. Oh, thank goodness. Barnes with the stop. Barnes needs to get it going. Barnes needs to get it going. Here's a free kick. Maidenhead, nicely done, and there's Liam. Liam tracks it down. He's got an opening. He's got a lot of space in, in front of him. He gets a, tries to get, trump it into Palmer, but the uh, goalie comes out and stops that. Liam, uh, need, Liam and Alfie both need to work on their passing, for sure. Oh, no. Kelly gets behind. Uh, Barnes stops the laser from going in. That was quite a big boot right there. Here's another goal kick. Big. Sends it big. And again, Kelly gets behind the defender. Woo! Barnes with another stop. Here in the 11th minute. We're now in the 12th minute of the match. Tozer gets it in. O'Connor. Tozer to O'Connor. Back to Tozer. Over to Shannon. Shannon goes ahead and gets it over to Young. Young. Could probably get it over to, yep, there it is, the Haas. Haas works it into Liam. Liam tries to get it in. Shannon goes in and recovers, gets it over to Young. Young chips it over to Davies. Davies with a header over to Tozer. Tozer heads it over. Unfortunately, unable to control it. Wrexham just got their second shot on goal. And uh, there's another free run for Maidenhead. This is not looking good for Wrexham. Gets it over to Adams, who's right outside the box. Fires it over the net, fortunately, for Wrexham. Oh, this has been a little bit of a disappointment right now, if you're a Wrexham fan. Haas in the mounds it to Mac. I mean, into Liam, I'm sorry. Who gets it over to Young. Young to Haas. Haas looking to put a move. Gets it over to Young. Young puts it into the space. He's got it ahead to O'Connor. O'Connor chips it, and he gets the goal. Let's go. O'Connor with another goal this season. Big plays out of O'Connor. I believe that's his third. I believe that was his third. Let's go, Wrexham. That was a big play right there. Nicely done by Young. Young with a nice lead. And a nice play by O'Connor. For sure. And that one will stand. Wrexham takes the 1-0 lead. And uh, here we go. We're in the 30, almost the 31st minute of the game. Big kick. Davies tries to corral it, but they unable to. Aidenhead keeps control of the ball. They're going to just work it around at this point, which is fine with me. Just kill a little bit of time. Hopefully, they make a mistake and Wrexham can take advantage. Okay, they punch it in. Tozer gets it ahead to Palmer. Palmer uh, corrals it, gets over to Young. Young gets it ahead to Liam. Liam makes a move. He gets by the defender. He's, made, he's got a little bit of a run. Gets it back to Haas. Good decision by Liam right there. Gets over to Young. Young over to O'Connor. O'Connor slips it over to, Matt, uh, to Liam. Liam over to 
Palmer gets ahead to Liam. Liam puts the ball on the net, but it goes a little high and a little off. Big play by Liam. Um, I think we just switched up our instructions. Okay, that one goes over the net. Good job by the defense right there. Put a little bit of pressure on. Uh, let's take a look. Do you have anything? Cancel instructions. Uh, all right. Just checking in with my assistant coach. Bad kick by the Barnes, but that's what we've come to expect out of our goalie. Don't understand why he keeps bombing the ball, but he does. Maidenhead gets it around. Young goes ahead and gets a steal. Oh, but unable to convert. Trying to get it over to O'Connor. O'Connor looking to get the ball back, but that's fine. They're Maidenhead working the ball up the field. Knocks it away. Oh, but O'Connor was just a little out of position. Or we Rexham could have gotten the ball right there. Uh, Rexham putting some decent pressure on the ball, ball handlers here tonight. Gets it over to Barnett, or Barrett. Big boot. Okay. Woo. Barnes corrals that one. He's making a lot of good saves. A lot of unnecessary shots here. We're at the 41st, 40, 41st minute. And Wrexham gets the ball back. Haas over to Palmer. Palmer gets it to Shannon in the middle of the field. Shannon makes... Takes a look, gets it back to Tozer. Tozer will go ahead and get it back to Barnes. Nice play by Braxham right now. Just moving along. I don't know what Barnes is doing. He's making me nervous. Ahead to Palmer. Palmer's got an opening. Is that going to count? That will be his eighth goal of the season if that does count. I don't know if he was onside. I, I don't know. We're going to see in a second. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now. I think he was onside because the ball went over and then he went and got the ball. So this should stand, fans, and it does. Nicely done by Wrexham. Palmer with a great run and a great job by Barnes. Let's make sure that we can continue to get the lead here. 43rd minute of the first half here, and Palmer has the ball. He moves it up to Young. Young has got an opening. They got a fast break. Davies has got an opening here. And it's off the defender. Nicely done by Maidenhead to get in the way of that one. That was a big break, though, for Wrexham that they didn't take advantage of. And here's a corner kick by Young. Nice low kick over to Palmer. Palmer, it's headed, but then uh, they just kick it out of bounds. And it's going to be a free kick for Young. Young. Is that off the goalie? Nope. Went over the goal. That's fine. We're going to halftime. Wrexham with the 2 0 lead. That is what we expect. That is what we expect out of Wrexham against these teams. This is what they need to do. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of more. Go ahead and get into the second half. Wrexham starts with the ball. Uh, Palmer gets to the Shannon. Shannon gets, goes ahead and gets to the Tozer. Tozer over to Fade. Fade works the ball around, gets to the Tozer. Tozer drops it in. Um, Bad pass. Looking to try to lead Palmer right there. They've had a few openings like that. A little free kick here for Maidenhead. Trying to get things going. They put a lot of pressure on Wrexham today. Or tonight. They put a lot of pressure on Wrexham under the lights tonight. Uh, Maidenhead looking to make a move right here. In the 49th minute of this game. Uh, for sure. For sure. Hold on. Let's take a quick look at our guys and see how the boys are doing. Oh, they're doing okay. Nobody's really hurting out there. And that one goes over the net. That should be... Oh, that looks like it's going to be a corner kick. It was touched by one of the members of Wrexham. A lot of penalty kicks this season that have gone against... I've gone against Wrexham, and obviously we had one in that Barnett game, which was a killer, as it turns out. A, a big, bad play, for sure, for sure. So Maidenhead keeps working around. I'm 
and they aren't able to do anything. Here we go. Here's a corner kick out of Maidenhead. Grizzly gets it out to Liam. Liam has got a lot of grass in front of him. He's got somebody with him. I think that's Davies. Liam looking to make a play right here. Gets it into Palmer. Palmer turns and shoots it right over the net. He had a defender right on him. So, unfortunately, unable to make the play. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Young with a free kick. Right at the goalie, but uh, goalie, Golani, the goalie, was able to corral that one in. Big boot downfield. Wrexham gets it back, though, over to Palmer. Palmer sends it ahead to Davies. Davies corrals it in, wisely passes it back to Tozer. Just working around, boys. Here's Fade. Fade gets it up the sideline. Liam has got an opening. Let's see if he, Liam can cross the ball. He does. He's got Palmer. With the header, Palmer with the goal. Second goal of the game. Let's go. Ollie Palmer putting on a show tonight. Let's make sure he was on side. And if that stands, that is his second goal of the game. He is just dominating this season. He and, uh, he and Mullen have made a nice, formidable team up front. And then you add in Davies and Alfie and Liam now starting to emerge. We have some future. We have a lot of bright future in that position for sure if you're a Wrexham fan. So 3-0 Wrexham. This is what we've been expecting. This is what they should have been doing against Barnett in the last game. But Young slips it ahead to Davies. Davies puts it in. There we go. Wrexham is putting it on. Maiden hit at this point. 66 minute of the game. The wheels have come off Maidenhead, fortunately. Wrexham has a lot of room to work with. So you see there's Brizzly with a little free kick to Young. Young get, got it back to Tozer. Tozer to Shannon. Back to Young. Young slips it ahead to Davies. And Davies is able to put it in the back of the net for the fourth goal for Wrexham. What a goal. But let's not rest on our laurels just yet, right? Another free kick for Maidenhead, and they are able to convert. Oh, they keep, Perry keeps it in. That almost went out of bounds. They're working it around. Maidenhead doing the... I mean, they're doing okay. They're they're working the ball around. They're just not getting any openings. There was a nice shot by Barnett, but it goes wide and nicely played by... Wrexham. Okay, so we're at the 77th minute almost. Let's go ahead and take a look. A lot of people suck and win right here. Um, let's go ahead and avoid injury to Davies. Palmer, let's take him out. And uh, we'll put Jones in for O'Connor. Pep talk. No pressure on you tonight. Subs. So we've gone ahead and made some changes. There we go. Ponticelli and Alfie are in and in the front. Fade gets it ahead to Ponticelli. He's got a breakaway. Ponticelli. Oh, the defender got in the way. Nicely done by uh, the Maidenhead defender to stop that one. They're trying to stop that bleeding. Ponticelli unable to control the ball. And then gets it back here in the 81st minute of the game. We're looking at almost. So, good decisions here, I think, by Vical. Good. And here we go. Jones ahead to Young. Young slips it ahead to Liam. Liam gets it back to Young. Young over to Jones. Jones back to Tozer. Tozer will go ahead and get over to Fade. Fade with a slips it in, but a little too long. A little too long on that one. And Maidenhead wrestles the ball away and starting to make a move here. Sparks up the sideline looking for the cross. He, got the, he has a cross to Kelly. Kelly unable to get it. Uh, Ferdinand kicks it over the goal. We're at the 82nd minute of the game now. Unable to control the ball again. This is where the, the youth needs to get a little bit better I feel like uh, there we go Tozer with a nice scissor kick gets it out of 
wrecked some territory, so now they got to work it. Maidenhead's got to work it over midfield again. Sometimes that's a little disheartening. Big dump into Kelly. Barnes comes out and plays it. Probably the right move. Barnes will drop kick it. Punt it over to Ponticelli. Ponticelli actually controls it this time. Shannon gets ahead on Matthews. Matthews takes a look around. Gets it back to Fade. Fade takes a look around. Gets it over to Tozer. Tozer over to Fade. Fade punches it in. Ponticelli's got to run. He's got to run. He's got an opening, but the defender is right there to stop it, and that's fine. Fade gets it back. And we are at the 87th minute of the game here. Working at the 89th minute of the game. We'll see how much extra time gets added. I mean, it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. Teams can score. Theoretically, you could score four goals pretty quickly if you needed to. It would take a lot of luck. And there we go. Barnes with another stop. We're in the 89th minute. We're going to see how much added time we get here. Ponticelli unable to corral that one. Going long. Looking like a wide receiver in the NFL on that one. <clears throat> but uh, Maidenhead continues to work the ball around. Great game by Wrexham right now. Uh, of course, possession not in their favor. Two minutes of added time will be brought on. Uh, pa passing completion. This should be a little bit higher. Mid to the high 80s should be where you are. Shots are all even. Shots on target are all even as well for both teams. Here we go. Alfie's got the ball over to Shannon. Shannon gets it to Brizzly. Brizzly over to Young. Young gives it to Liam. Liam back to Young. Young gets it back to Brizzly. Brizzly over to Tozer. Tozer gets it. Slip, trying to slip it ahead. And that is it. Full time. Dominating win by Wrexham. 4-0 today. That is what you want to see on the pitch. Great game by Palmer, Davies, and O'Connor were the stars today for sure very well done let's go so Wrexham stays in position for promotion which is where you want to be um we are in third place with 24 points we're eight points off of first we're only one out of second with Chesterfield um so we'll see what happens there. We'll see what happens there, fans. For now, YouTube, we're going to go ahead and call the episode there. If you like the episode, go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, you can do it for free by smashing that sub button. Stay awesome. Stay safe, YouTube. We will talk again later. Bye-bye.